The Center for Study of Science, Technology and Policy was founded in 2005 by Dr. V.S. Arunachalam, former scientific advisor to the Defense Minister in the Government of India. He subsequently became a professor at the Carnegie Mellon University. I was a professor at Carnegie Mellon University, which has an excellent policy department. The policy department was just simple policy. It was also technology department. The interaction of technology with policy was unique at the Carnegie Mellon. So I decided if the Carnegie Mellon would like to have me, I would also like to adopt them. And that's why I decided when I come back home, I am going to have an equivalent of Carnegie Mellon without the university, but with an excellent policy department. Established as a not-for-profit research organization, CSTEP began with a mission to enrich policy making with innovative approaches using science and technology for a sustainable, secure and inclusive society. The only first support that I got was from my wife. She said, I will give you one room. Don't ask more. But as I went along, I didn't expect things would happen so rapidly. And to two or three of my students who did their PhD at Carnegie Mellon, I thought they would run away from me saying, my God, at last we got a degree and go away. Instead, they said, is, oh, if you are coming to India, we are also ready. At its helm, the executive director is Dr. Anshu Bharadwaj. He was with the Indian Administrative Service and also holds a PhD in Engineering and Public Policy and Mechanical Engineering from the Carnegie Mellon University. C-STEP is a non-profit think tank. We are a technology policy think tank. We believe in the power of science and technology and what it can do for human and economic development. It was obvious to us that the, we need highly qualified and talented people to translate these ideas into reality. We were really fortunate that several people came forward. They took a faith on us and they joined us and partnered in the journey. We were very clear that C-STEP should be moved by a group of outstanding professionals and not by one or two people. We were firmly of the belief that the only way C-STEP can grow and flourish is if we give responsibility and empower young people to develop as professionals. Uh, IDRC announced the Think Tank initiative. We got the grant and that, I feel, was a defining moment in our journey. There is a demand for technology policy studies. However, policy engagement is a complex and challenging process. To manage this process, we have structured our work into research domains. Each domain is headed by a research scientist who develops a vision and drives the agenda for the domain. Let us hear from a few of our domain leads. Some of the challenges that we are facing in India is uh, poor uh, financial health of discoms, high ATNC losses, um, how to integrate renewables effectively. Our work in power sector uh, in C-STEP is to provide technology and policy solutions to make the grid more robust and resilient. In fact, one of the recent works that we have done uh, was with Karnataka State Transmission Utility to study the impact of increasing renewables on th onto the grid and how uh, the transmission infrastructure can be strengthened effectively. Going forward, we would like to study the um, different new technologies like smart grid, um, distributed energy resources and um, provide solutions which would help us in uh, seamlessly integrating them. We are at the moment heavily involved in the rooftop solar domain. We have conducted the first of its kind project in Bangalore using light detection and ranging, which has allowed Bescom to set a target of 1 gigawatt for 21-22. We also use innovative GIS techniques to map RE potential. Recently we finished a study in Lakshwadeep to assess the RE potential in each island to replace diesel. And we have also worked with the government of Karnataka Energy Department to assess the feasibility of using solar for dedicated agricultural feeders in the state. 
One definitive way that is shaping uh, urban living across the world is the innovation in data science and digital technologies. Our work in the urban domain uh, involves uh, technology, policy options, uh, decision support platforms in urban planning, service delivery and urban governance areas. We have contributed to the Swachh Bharat Mission and Smart Cities Mission uh, by the Government of uh, India. At the state level, we are engaging with the Government of Karnataka in uh, developing our state urban observatory platform. Uh, we also integrate gender in all our research in order to be aligned to the leave no one behind agenda of the SDGs. Uh, our vision is to help cities become resilient through application of data analytics and how that can inform better policy options. From building expertise in domains like energy and urban development, CSTEP has now initiated work in new areas such as air pollution and artificial intelligence for development. At Six Step, we have kick-started a series of initiatives on artificial intelligence for social good. One of the first programs where we have used that is for a large initiative for managing the malnutrition of women and children. The way we are going to use artificial intelligence is for increasing the evidence and the accuracy of the whole process. For example, you can take a photograph of a child and through that photograph, the height of the child can automatically be calculated. So the accuracy is increased and at the same time, we have the evidence that the height was taken. And um, another example is that you can take the photograph of a group of children and the attendance of those children is automatically marked uh, in the Anganwadi's registers. And uh, this has changed the way the grassroots operations in malnutrition management works and shows exactly how a technology can be used in a positive way. In the last 10 years, CSTEP has grown considerably. Initially, researchers came from the natural science and engineering disciplines. However, we began recruiting from other disciplines such as economics, management and policy studies. Developing human resources has always been a focus at CSTEP. CSTEP started off in 2007 with three employees. We are around 111 today. We are spread across two locations, that is Bangalore and Noida. We hire students and professionals from institutes and colleges in India and abroad. CSTEP also has a well-defined uh, career uh, growth plan. We uh, have a transparent appraisal system with special focus on individual development plans and which encourages uh, genuine career progression. CSTEP offers a safe and conducive working environment for women. Women occupy 44% of the leadership positions. We are also building an organization which provides a learning environment. A place where professionals can build necessary skills, their capacity and develop as thought leaders. CSTEP offers a lot of flexibility in the projects and domains that uh, we get to work on. I've been involved in one of the newer areas of research that looks into assessing upcoming technologies for alternative fuels like methanol and other drop-in fuels. Um, on the other hand, I've also been uh, looking at the energy implications of uh, India's developmental aspirations like achieving zero hunger and clean water for all. CSTEP provides an excellent learning atmosphere for researchers. I joined CSTEP with a computer science background back in 2009. Back then, the energy domain was fairly new to both CSTEP and me. I learned on the job thanks to all the mentorship and the tools it was provided. So I went on to do my master's in public policy from Singapore. I have returned in 2015 and I have been doing my research in energy and climate policy since then. So I first came to CSTEP somewhere around five years ago for a few months on an internship and I'm still here so I think that tells you exactly how much I like uh, working here. I think CSTEP is a great place especially for young researchers to go because not only do you get to delve deeper in your area of specialization, you also learn from many different disciplines. In my project right now, I'm getting to work with engineers, policy researchers, planners, economists. You get to see the same issue from so many different perspectives and it helps you really understand how to resolve these problems. Uh, when I joined, I was employee number four. And when I look back and see the number 100, it's really a question of joy to see how the company has grown through 10 years from four to 100. Not only we have our office in Bangalore, but also in Delhi and the small portion in Bihar. I really feel proud to be a C-Stepian. C-Step's early support came from the Shiv Nadar Foundation and the Jamshed Ji Tata Trust. There are two aspects which are critical for the long-term sustenance of think tanks in the Indian context. One is the ability to raise core grants 
and the second is the need to engage with domestic philanthropy. CSTEP has been successful in raising core grants, such as the core grant under the Think Tank Initiative program of the IDRC. We leverage those core grants to raise several project grants. So far, we have completed some 75 projects. We have built a donor base of over 45 from various sources. Now, going forward, we'll be focusing more on engaging with the domestic philanthropy because grant from the domestic philanthropy is going to be very crucial for long-term sustenance of think tanks in the Indian context. Since its inception, C-STEP has been developing various interactive tools for decision makers. C-STEP uh, since its beginning was interested in developing computational tools and there was a computational focus all along. To begin with, we started off with that one, decision analysis and research platform for better policy decisions. In that one, we started off building the RE Sighting tool, which enables identifying the hotspots or the sweet spots for installation of RE in India. Further followed, we developed the Sanitech tool, which helps decision makers to choose among various technology options in the Sanitech value chain. Our uh, vision is to keep building these tools for better research directions and policy decisions. What if C-STEP had not got the core grants from PTI and Oak Foundation? There is just no way C-STEP would have reached the position where it is today. These two core grants catalyzed non-linear growth in the organization in multiple ways and we used it to start new research domains and pursue project grants. All our success stories and stories of influence are attributed to core grants. Mutually productive um, and fruitful relationship. Uh, we have found them a good and, and trustworthy partner. We have worked with C Step to evaluate both what is working and what is not working. C Step works using a systems approach, and over time, they've built up multiple capabilities in the areas of power, transport, energy efficiency, and air quality. Uh, they understand the multifaceted and interconnected challenges that we face, and they have have used their additional uh, abilities in the areas of economics, science and IT to inform the policy work in, in, on which we worked together. So we wish them uh, all success in the years ahead and we look forward to uh, working together. As the grant manager of the Think Tank Initiative for CSTEP in Bangalore, I have managed and seen CSTEP grow in a short period of 10 years in an organizational life to grow more than 10 times, not only in terms of number of staff, but also in terms of their funding, their visibility, their presence, I think is a phenomenal achievement. I rank a few of them fairly, fairly high. One of them is their organizational emphasis and strong leadership commitment to research quality. In terms of multidisciplinarity, it started as a group of primarily engineers. Uh, who were working on social and economic issues, but I think it has now evolved into being a genuinely multidisciplinary center for research. Two key values that I have seen and witnessed at CSTEP, integrity and humility, have been an extremely valuable asset that CSTEP has had because of which they managed to build very good long-term relationships. I would certainly sort of like to see them punch a little bit about their way. I certainly think that uh, they need to improve a little bit on their communication strengths. They need to become a little bit more strategic on their communication. And I have no doubt that as an organization, they are very well positioned to achieve all of this. C-STEP has been by far one of our best investments in, in India. I think it has one of the most fascinating uh, staff uh, that I've seen in any think tank anywhere in the world. C-STEP really marries very well uh, the policy needs with the capacity to provide top-level advice. The magnitude of the problems in India can only be answered by Indians themselves. One cannot expect from the US, one cannot expect from Europe the types of responses because simply they don't have the same magnitude of the problems here. They, they have never experienced that. So. Uh, for that reason, I think uh, that uh, an investment on 
in indigenous thought in India about how to find have how to find solutions to its own problems is a must. And I feel really proud to, 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 to be part of that dream that these four initial people had about developing a, a, an organization, a think tank like this. And I can only wish you very well for the next 10 to the next 50 years. So what lies ahead for CSTEP? Maintaining high quality of research is a significant problem, but it is to be handled in the processes that we put in place for improving quality. Uh, we have done that through uh, introducing project review committees that will handle project quality on a day-to-day -day basis, uh, examining and reviewing projects as they go along in terms of their methodology. But then we also have a quality control process for the outputs, where the outputs will be uh, going through multi-tiered process through which their quality is examined at various levels and then finally approved by uh, technical review committees as well as the, the lead of the quality assurance program. Some of the challenges remain the same. Uh, the challenges of uh, quality of personnel and capacity, maintaining that kind of capacity in the organization, research capacity, that is something that we have to continuously work on and build over a period of time. The second is also building leadership amongst our employees, uh, building thought leadership, ability to lead projects and programs. And I think all of this will combine itself to uh, developing C-STEP as a brand. And that is the biggest challenge that we have, is how do we develop C-STEP as a brand that is recognized as a top quality research policy institution. When I wrote about the vision for Kara C-STEP, I wrote perhaps 20 people would join me. Now we have about 100 people still keeping me alive. And this is unbelievable. But one thing it's going to be, it's going to be an outstanding institution. Mm -hmm.